um, from Azimio collision. But when something good happens, one needs to appreciate. And uh, when our people are given government positions, we are, have no choice but to thank the appointing authority for giving us the true positions uh, in cars, water and irrigation, in the name of Ore Sunya, and my sister, Prema Jaldesa of Isiolo, who's given wildlife, tourism, wildlife, and heritage position. This is a great honor, and as a leader from the community, I have no choice but to appreciate the appointment and thank the government for giving us those positions. Previously, we were honored by the same government in giving us at least two positions in principal secretaries, crop and energy. And um, those is a great honor and we need to say thank you to the government. And um, irrespective of which political line people are, something good is always good. And for that, I say thank you. Finally, um, my senior high-ranking member of parliament from SACU had mentioned that, yes, we have had the worst drought in the last 40 years. I know, yes, there is rain. I've just come from Moyale. But it cannot rain today and tomorrow there is fodder and there is food for the people. I'm appealing to the government to give consideration in an emergency state for animal feeds and human feeds. Because of the great famine we are exposed to, our children who are in school, boarding schools do not have enough food. I know through the NACONEC, some school feeding program has been distributed, but it's not enough. We need more, there are schools like secondary schools that may require feed subsidy through school feeding program. My appeal is to the government to give us more food. They have been distributing food supplies once in a month, but um, very little animal support. Um, I'm appealing to, especially now that it has started raining and the change of the sudden change in temperature will lead to the deaths of many, the few remaining livestock. And uh, as for that reason that I'm saying, please the government to consider giving us both animal and um, human feed, both for the school children and for the other people. Uh, finally, um, we need to congratulate the Muslim community who have attained this month of uh, the holiday month of Ramadan and wish everybody a peaceful Ramadan season. Um, with that, th those few remarks, I say thank you. But um, I think the government, if they are hearing me, they need to think of sending more foodstuffs to the north. Thank you very much. First of all, let me say thank you very much to our president, Dr. Samuel Ruto, for the two appointments. Secondly, as you are aware, Marsabit County, one of the largest county in Kenya, we've been called marginalized. Since independence, even before independence, we've been called Northern Frontier District, NFD. When we gained our independence, we were called marginalized during Kenyatta time, Jomo Kenyatta. During Moi time, again, marginalized. Then Kibaki took over. Marginalized community, marginalized county. After Kibaki, Uru Kenyatta, again marginalized. Today, we are seeing something completely different. 
we have got two PSS, two CAS, CAS. And that has never happened. And we want to thank our president. He's a man of his words. He promised and he has fulfilled his promise today. And we are happy to tell him thank you very much. We will be, the, we will be with you and we will support this government. Secondly, we, I would want to tell uh, Raila Odinga, please spare us this month of Ramadan. We are just begging you. Give us a period where people can pray to their God, go to the mosques, and have a good time. That is request to Raila Molo Odinga. Number three, we don't have seeds now. Yes, we have rains, and we need seeds. Marsabit County is a farming county. It's a farming county, you know. And we are asking the president and donor, donor community to help us and see if we can get some seeds before maybe two weeks ends. If we get these seeds, I'm sure our people can start cultivating the farms. For those remarks, I say thank you very much. God bless Kenya. God bless everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, good afternoon. Uh, here we are assembled leaders from uh, Marsabet and Isiolo. Uh, first of all, we want to take this opportunity to thank His Excellency the President, uh, William Ruto, and his deputy, Rigadi Gachagua, for giving us two appointments in the just appointed uh, Chief Administrative Secretaries through Honorable Rema Jaldesa from Isiolo, who will be representing us in uh, Ministry of uh, Tourism, and uh, Honorable Sunya Ore from Marsabet, uh, who will be in Ministry of Water and Irrigation. We want to say especially to the Kenya Kwanza government, these appointments have not happened to our people for the last 58 years since independence. I think it's for the first time we are seeing we are being given chief administrative secretaries and also principal secretaries. This also shows that this is our government and we are going to work with this government. We want to assure uh, the principals, the president and his deputy that we shall work with them and we shall support their government wherever we are, whether we are in the National Assembly or the Senate or leadership at the grassroots in the county assemblies and in the county. That is what we wanted, the message we really wanted uh, to sing home and to appreciate uh, the two principles. The second message we wanted to pass is for the Muslims, this is a very important time. The Muslims are fasting. It is a time when we actually are close to our Creator because of the prayers that we must undertake. For that reason, we will not participate in any form of demonstration that challenges the seat of government or whatever is going to happen to raise our voices at this time. In fact, most of our people uh, require support at this time. Many are fasting when they are hungry, when they don't have enough food. So we will not participate in any demonstration and we want to send that message to our people wherever they are in Kenya that we are not part of that demonstration. Thirdly, our region is faced by very serious famine. As a result of the extended drought, 
Many people are still in need of uh, food support. The children in the school are in need of uh, uh, school fees and also food support. For that reason, we want to appeal to both the government, development partners, and non-government organization to come in support of our people. Yes, it's true. In some places, there have been rains. But you know it cannot rain tomorrow. It cannot rain today and tomorrow there the, the are crops or there's food. So our people are still in need of food support and we want to appeal uh, that we should continue uh, to be supported and helped by both the government and other partners. Uh, we want to uh, thank you ladies and gentlemen and I want to uh, seed uh, for other leaders uh, to give some remarks. I was the aspirant for Senate for Isiolo County in the last general election. I just want to echo the sentiments by the leaders who have spoken before me, basically in expressing gratitude to His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya William Ruto and his deputy regarding Ashagwa for once again exhibiting through the appointments that have taken place today that they are really a friend and a partner to our region. His Excellency the President has already had a long-standing relationship with the people basically from our region because he has stood with us many times. But this time round, since he took over the reins of leadership in this country, we have uh, ripped a lot. As you are aware, in the previous appointment we have gotten two principal secretaries who are also present here. Now today in the appointment that were made, we have two chief administrative secretaries who are also appointed from the region. This for sure has shown that he has the interest of this region at heart. We are also sure that he's going to initiate other development projects from this region. The leaders have expressed the issues of drought and famine in our region. As you are aware, the rains have also started, and rains also on the onset brings with itself some challenges because there are issues relating to flooding and those kind of view. So we also require assistance from the government, like they have expressed here before. So basically, our presence here is to express gratitude to the president and his excellency, the, uh, the president and the, his deputy. And we also want to assure him of our unwavering support in terms of you know uh, the people from our region we will work with you with you this path and consider us your partners and we will uh, pay back the people you have seen here is a representation of the leadership from the region both isiolo and marsabit counties thank you very much and god bless you menaitwa dukan basele muse wa kutoka community naitwa rendile kutoka marsabit kitwa kwanza ni kurudisha chukurani yetu kubwa kwa His Excellency President William Samai Ruto kwa kukumbuka sisi watu ya masabit haswa jamii ndogo naitwa Rendile kwa appointment yake ya siku ya leo saa hii tukiongoja hapa sisi wa sana sana watu ya Rendile tunajifunia kuwa wa Kenya leo mahali wote tunafura kila mahali leo tunachukuru sana tunacherekea kwa sababu tangu iko hii katiba yetu ya 2010 hatujawahi kupata any appointment kutoka kwa serikali lakini our president leo alitukumbuka ndio akatupatia leo CS kwa hiyo hata sisi leo sisi pia kama wa Kenya wengine tunajifunia kama wa Kenya Ya mwisho ni ni kushukuru viongozi yetu vile wa kumekuja leo kuonyesha umoja yao mbele ya wa Kenya na watu ya masabiti wote na ni maradadi sana hiyo ni solidarity ni mzuri 
naomba hawa waendelee na hiyo umoja mpaka uko ground ndio watu wasikie kweli tuko pamoja asanteni sana mm. asante sana mm. hey, comment is uh, clear in itself and uh, we don't foresee any questions thank you very much mm. Yeah,